Now I've had it said to me that uh, the Drahar are not bred for hunting cover and stuff like that. Uh, ditches and brambles and stuff like that. But if you introduce the dog to the, the brambles and the heavy cover and it slows right down they're not able to push out obviously like they are in the field they will get used to it and especially if they come across game they'll take to it because a good drahar is bred to, to hunt they're not bored dogs alone like you can hunt the boards with them but you can bush, you can hunt bush with them, like the foxes you can send them in and they'll drive the fox out and put the fox to, to cover somewhere. But if you're hunting deer and best intentions and all that, the deer runs my experience they always run somewhere that they don't want to be found or they end up in a, a ditch or the drainage dike or under a tree and if you haven't got a good dog you won't find it I mean you can follow bits of blood trails I've done it with my son and you can get lucky, but not all deer that are shot bleed. And I know for a fact, uh, lads shooting red deer, that they've lost them. They couldn't find them. So, if you have your trahar, your German wire pointer, take it into cover, take it into the brambles, from an early age just learn get them to learn that this is part and parcel of what they have to do I'm hoping Nina is gonna get onto a fox or something in here there's no deer here so I can leave her off I'm hoping she can get onto a fox and she'll start tracking. Let's see what happens. Beautiful morning. So, if you are looking for a dog, Deutsch Rahar, go to a reputable breeder. Try and get the best you can. Um, these are not show dogs. <clears throat> They've great prey drive for hunting, but they're not just bird dogs. You can hunt them in cover, on the water, out in the fields, up in the mountains. They're a versatile hunting, versatile hunting dog. I'm up to my neck here in it. <laughs> Beautiful Scots Pine. Some more here. Planted on the edge of the Sitka Spruce. They're one of my favourite trees. Especially when they're mature. The Scots Pine or Irish Pine. She was around 300 yards pushing away. So, she's up. 
Come on. I can hear. Good girl. Come on, Nina. Good girl. Come on. Come on. There she is. Good girl. So that just shows us the GPS tracker. We haven't got onto a fox, but she got out to about 200 yards there. I was pushing in the opposite direction that I was walking. I didn't mind because I can see where the direction she is in the distance. And then she's got a good recall. That's a must with any dog if you're outside, you know, walking around. It's, it's loose like that. It's got to have a good recall. And she's after coming straight in.